some shopping with Sally. Well, hello and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to take you shopping with me. We're gonna go and look for photo shoot props and maybe some cute like fall items or maybe even some things for Christmas minis. Um, so I'm gonna show you and explain to you what I look for when I look for a like sitter prop or a newborn prop, like how big it should be and how I measure that in a store. Um, so I want to go up north to a province called Friesland, which is pretty, like I'm pretty much living in Friesland. Um, but it's still like an hour, it's like 50 minute drive. But yeah, we're going to go to this super cool store. I've never been there, but I've been following them on Facebook for a while. And they have like tons of like secondhand and antique and vintage and old stuff. And then I want to take you to a thrift store. And then if we have time, I want to take you to the action where I buy a lot of my cheap uh, like wooden rocking horses and just like fall decor and stuff. So uh, let's go shopping. So the kids are at school. I dropped them off at 8.30 this morning. It's 9 now. The shop opens at 10 uh, and it's like an hour drive so it should be fine. And then I have to pick the kids up from school again at 2.15. So let's go, let's go shopping. Um, it's a little bit like rainy outside and like um, not very warm, so I'm wearing my teddy coat already, uh, but that's okay. So let's go and drive. So I'm actually going with my new car and she looks like Sally and she has like these eyes that I put in the <laughs> like window uh, all the time because it looks so cute and the kids love it. Um, and they can revert to, refer to the car as Sally, which is pretty cool, but it's a smaller car. So I don't have the big car anymore, so yeah, if I take some stuff with me, um, we might have to puzzle to get it into the car, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna crank up the music and then I'll see you at the store. So here you see the outlet store from my car window. Um, it's kind of like a home decor shop. In front of me, there is an outlet store of the same home decor big shop. And I think like they rent out like different like tables and corners to little home decor. Um, owners whatever uh let's do like secondhand and vintage let's go okay so here's the shop i really have to pee but anyway first we're gonna go to the outlet store i mean you can find like balls like something like this would work for like a newborn session or like a sitter session i love these as well like a beautiful old high chair for like a cake smash sessions outside would be super cute. It's 35 euros. Oh, I love this kind of like crocheted blankets, super cute. These ones as decor. I don't know how much they are. Oh, this is really nice. It's like a real eucalyptus. Dried. And it's only 5 euros. This one as well. I'm definitely gonna bring one of those. They smell so good as well. Here you have another one. I think it used to be twelve ninety five, but because it's in the outlet store, it's like nine or uh, five euros. Like these crates are always great for babies to sit in. Just make sure there are no sharp edges. Like here, you can even fit like twins inside. Ooh, sorry. How cool is that wagon? But they're not selling that one, but they have some more here. And four euros. Just gonna go inside, see what they have inside. But yeah, you can use a lot as props, like buckets, they're just very rusty. Hello! <laughs> Look, they have beautiful wooden balls. I actually already have like one like, that they used for cheese making and one they put olives in. Uh, they're nice because they're so heavy and uh, great for sitters and newborns. Look, beautiful antique things look at these outfits they're like uh, vintage outfits just yeah they're great for sitter sessions but they can be quite fragile like some already have like holes inside 
Um, yeah, and if a baby spits up on it, I don't know if you can wash them that many more times before they fall apart, but they're gorgeous. Here you have another wooden bucket, oval shaped. Uh, maybe a little bit too small to fit a sitter inside. But maybe a newborn, like head on hands, could work. Also more baskets that you can place babies in. Not that one. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but this one looks pretty cool for boys as well to sit in during a sitter session. I always look for a wooden bowls. Um, yeah, these little rocking horses are great. This is a stone one, so it won't break as easily. Um, yeah, just rustic looking props. Ooh, I like that wooden bucket. I think that's, I mean, it's too small to fit a sitter inside. Maybe during a newborn session for like the head on hand pose, it would be so cool. And it's like rustic and heavy. Here are more rocking horses. More things, oh look at these. I have one of those, it looks very similar. I use it sometimes. Um, yeah, just go find like garage sales or like thrift stores or just like home decor shops. They have great buckets. I'm gonna explain to you later why I tried to fit my arm in there. I actually have one of these benches. I bought it a few weeks ago and my son posted on it during his birthday photos. Great for outside as well. Here are like an oval shaped olive boil. When I look for like stools, like wooden like chairs to sit on, I make sure that they're quite sturdy so they don't tip over that easily. Here you have one on the feet. Um, they're all great, but I don't want to too much, but I really like that one. Okay. So yeah, this is what I'm buying. The eucalyptus, the berries, and the bucket. And this is the shop. Okay, so this is what I got. And it smells amazing, because it's like dried eucalyptus. Um, and it's actually really fun, because it's a store made up of like 18 different stores so 18 different um little business owners rent some space there to sell their products prices are really good people are really nice um so yeah they told me i could put some business cards there and uh, yeah i'll put the link to their facebook site in the description because they're very active on facebook almost every day they post photos of new items they have in the store and you can even like respond they have an auction and then you can uh, buy it from facebook and then pick it up within a week maybe they even send it i don't know but this is a beautiful wooden bucket which i'm going to use for uh, newborn photography i'm going to explain to you how i pick up my buckets in the car because it's raining and i look ridiculous so of course the dried uh, eucalyptus and the berries I'm gonna use uh, to to decorate my decor. What about the wooden bucket? So I want to use this one uh, during newborn sessions for the head on hand pose in a bucket. I wanted this one because it's heavy. Um, I don't necessarily have to put something heavy inside. You can always put like we you know, like those weight lifters. They have like these metal round shapes that they put on the stick. Um, if you put that in the bottom, it's heavier, so less likely to tip over. So that's always a good idea. But this is already pretty heavy by itself. Um, it's very smooth, so no like uh, edges that you have to smoothen before a baby can be in it. Of course, when I prepare this for a baby, I'm going to show you later in this video, I will put some special pillows inside um, so that the baby is comfortably lying on their hands in the bucket. I think this one looks really nice on the dark wood. Um, I love that it's like authentic, it's old, you can really see it. Uh, so yeah, this one was 35 euros, the bucket. Uh, so I think it's a good price. When I pick out like a bowl for a baby to lie in on their back, I make sure that my underarm fits in the bowl. So from my fist to my elbow, if that fits into the bowl, a baby can comfortably lie on their back wrapped in the bowl. It can be a little bit smaller, um, but not a lot bigger because otherwise the baby looks too tiny in the bowl. I try to avoid rectangular shapes for a baby to lie in on their back. Just because when a baby's sleeping and they're lying in a rectangular box, it can kind of remind people of a baby in a coffin, which is not what you want it to look like during a newborn session. Of course the baby is pink and alive and you can see them smiling and yawning and maybe they're even wide awake so they don't look like they're not alive but um, still like a rectangular shape I try to avoid that one the same with the oval shapes because nowadays when babies pass away they often use a basket in like an oval shape uh, so when a baby is lying on their back in an oval shaped basket 
uh, or like a wooden bucket um, to me it can still look a little bit confronting to some people so I tried to avoid that one so I tried to go for like round shapes a lot that's pretty much it I like to go for round shapes and then uh, now we're gonna go to a secondhand shop and maybe to the action or like a garden center but I still have to use the bathroom I probably could have used it there but I forgot Okay, so I've never been to this thrift store before. Uh, I just googled the one that was the nearest and it actually says 3,000 square meters of thrift store. So it's kind of cool because it's a big one. So I've never been there, so we're going to see what they have and then I'm going to hopefully explain to you what I pay attention to when I'm looking for photo shoot items. Um, here we go. Look at this, they have some really cool things. That's so awesome for a shoot outside. Look at this, how cool is that? This is so cool. So of course these ones are great to use during a maternity session, but where do I leave it in between? It's just too big for one style session outside. If they have like little ones, which are still looking good for like uh, dolls that little girls can work with, maybe I'll buy one. But yeah, seriously, how cool would that be? Oh, they're actually not for sale. Like, it's always good to have like a little wooden kids chair, but I already have one, like a green one. This is so random. Look at this. Beautiful ones. I don't think they're for sale. I actually really like this one. It's just not sturdy enough. It's more like a showpiece instead of the kids walking around with it. It'll break. So when I'm in a secondhand shop, I always look for the wedding dresses because sometimes when you find like a vintage wedding dress, it can have beautiful lace that you can use on newborn outfits but now they don't have that check this jacket it's real lamb leather and it's only five euros have some, this all over like real leather jackets for five euros Five euros. Love it. Yeah, so here you see the other one, which is also nice. Five euros leather jacket. Maybe I should take them both. So when you're looking for doilies, go to a thrift store, like this one, or this one. I like this color, I like them both. I don't know the price, I'll take them both. And the leather jackets, how cool are they? Okay, if you're looking for lace, go to the curtain section here. You can cut off so many pieces for newborn outfits here you have some lace I quite like this one this is not so shiny it's actually just a curtain oh. I'll take it with me wooden toys can also be a nice photo prop because they tend to melt into the decor of course one of these can be held in a photo session of course, the basket session can also be very nice. I like one of these. Okay, so I have a limited amount of space in my studio, which is why I'm very critical as to what I'm buying. I see good things like baskets, and uh, but I already have some and they look very similar and I don't have that much space. So I guess I'm not buying baskets today or bowls. My car smells so nice. 
eclipse coming into the car like eclipse okay no joke i paid 12 euros and 50 cents for two leather jackets of which one this one is absolutely amazing i eat plant-based 99 percent of the time uh, I'm not vegan, I do wear leather, but I love buying second hand because the jacket's already there. Um, yeah, anyway, do your own thing and make conscious decisions. That's all I want to say about it. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful leather jacket. Five euros. They gave me the curtains with the beautiful lace in the bottom and the two doilies for 250. I got to use their bathroom as well so happy because i really had to go to the bathroom now i feel so much better it's 11 30 so i still have some time but if i go home now i can start editing this video and maybe already upload it tomorrow of course then you, yeah whatever um so we'll see where we're gonna go next five minutes from here 1.8 kilometers there is an action so let's go to the action and i can buy some lunch as well i'll probably buy some cashew nuts or something um and then we might buy some fall decor, so let's go! I'm so freaking happy with the first leather jacket that I tried on. Amazing. Like seriously, where do you find that without price? So here you see another one of my favorite stores, The Action. Okay, but these ones are a little bit too small. But it was a beautiful fall and Christmas decor. Personally, not a big fan of Halloween. Mm, not so much. It looks a little bit too fake. Could be cute. Look, these ones are really nice. I have those in my house as well. They're very sturdy, they don't fall over. Great for shoots as well. I actually have two already. These ones are great to put the cake on when you do a cake smash. Here you kind of have like a little stand. This one. This is what I showed on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. It's like a candle holder. There you can see it. Uh, so you put the candle normally in here. But if you turn it around, you have a really cool cake stand. I'm actually gonna take one with me, just as an extra cake stand. Here they have some fallish decor. Always nice burlap. I actually often buy my fake flowers here. Some look fake, some look okay. I bought these ones before. They have a really nice carpet here now. But I actually already have one of these carpets and I paid a lot more. <laughs> but yeah, I already have one of those, but they're really nice, good price. I wouldn't buy like this fake fur because it just looks too fake. I'd rather have like the real one from the IKEA. Here they already have Christmas stuff. Well, these hats are pretty nice. They're fluffy. I might just grab a few. Because now they still have them. It's only the 29th of September. Christmas sweaters. But yeah, if you try and buy them a week before Christmas, they're gone. Mm -hmm. I might just get four in total. Here yeah, they have a lot more Christmas stuff. They always look a little bit scary to me. And this one I think I showed last year on my Instagram. If you would remove San Santa, you could place a baby in the bucket, but it's very light. I like the hot air balloon. You even have like a newborn head on hands in the bucket, but I'm not gonna buy it because where am I gonna put it the rest of the year? 
I like buying coloring books here for the kids. A little snack for the road. And I like these ones too. This looks like so much fun. These ones can be used to put like flowers in. so long till Christmas but now I think all the autumn stuff is already gone it was like super hot until two days ago so I didn't want to buy autumn stuff yet and now I'm too late sure I should probably already get some Christmas stuff soon before it's gone it's quite a nice nightstand but I don't need any I really think this is all that's left Hello. Okay, so the lady just told me, yeah, they had like so much fall decor and it's already sold out. And it's still, I mean, it's the end of September. But she says, yeah, they're always like two months ahead. And once it's gone, it's gone. So now it's all Christmas stuff. Anyway, we have one more shop that we're going to go to, uh, which is like a garden store. So I'm going to show you all my favorite places to go to buy stuff for photo shoots. Um, also, of course, like I live in between farms and they do sell like real pumpkins as well and they just started selling them. So, I mean, I could always get some real pumpkins, but we're just going to go to the garden store. I'm going to show you what they have there and then I'm going to head home. Uh, so next up, garden store. Okay, so here we are. It is called the Intratan. So they actually have these stores all across the country and this one is near Drachten, so like in Friesland. Let's go. So here they have a lot of like indoor real plants, but they also have like baskets and bowls and they have fake plants and they usually have a lot of like home decor as well. So like they have a beautiful like Christmas setting here. They have pumpkins. So here they do still have fall decor. Um, so that's great. Big pumpkins, small pumpkins, yellow ones, orange ones. Maybe I want to buy a few little ones. Or maybe even one of these. I, like, I don't really like the prickly ones. Um, maybe just like a real beautiful little pumpkin. For the photos. Or these ones, they're kind of cute. Two euros. The thing is, the baby's small, so the pumpkin needs to be small as well. And they have a basket of tiny little pumpkins. And these ones are pretty too. Dried autumn leaves. They have so many beautiful dried flowers here. I think I had these ones last year. Beautiful orange flowers. So beautiful. Lavender. Oh man, I want to buy everything. How beautiful is this? Five euros. 16 euros, but they're so beautiful. Here you have like a bouquet. 10 euros. But I mean, it lasts for a long time. So yeah, if you want to buy me flowers, buy me some dried flowers. <laughs> Just giving a little hint out there. Here you've got a lot of Christmas decor, or uh, I mean fall decor. I've seen Anna Brand Studio, and she had a lot of, has a lot of these like circles just pinned on her wall. And then of course, if you have a lot of pillows inside and a blanket, make it super soft. You can place a newborn in the middle. But I mean, there's so many things I could buy, but I don't want to overstuff the studio. I know what I use, and I like buying. Just a few more items um, every season, but not too much. This one I think could work for a sitter session. So here you see, this could fit a new one. Just showing you, my arm fits inside. Um, so yeah, that's how you can measure it. Look, this one I like as a cake smash. 
background. I have one that's a little bit similar, but this one's actually even prettier. Because it has the burlap. And then like fake eucalyptus leaves and then like fake, I don't know, what is it? Baby's breath. So these ones are 20 euros. You can just hang it as a decor. Because I like to keep it very simple. I think they're still setting up the Christmas um, decor. Because sometimes in these garden centers they have like a whole Christmas village with like a train that's moving, like little houses. And it's so much fun to go to for the kids to just look around. So we always do that every year. Ooh, I like to have this in my own living room. Very nice, very subtle. I love this sled, seriously. How cool would this be as a prop for a photo session? Mm. I don't think it's for sale. And where would I store it? So that was just actually their seasonal home decor. This is their normal home decor. So look, they have a lot more, like beautiful baskets. Again, I already have so many baskets, but look at the colors. It's all very pretty. Super nice colors. Okay, so I'm one of those people who loves to check out everything that's on a discount. <laughs> See here, they have 70% off everything. I like that. So these are all fake flowers and they're so beautiful. Like they look super real. Well, some of them, not all of them. These are all like fake flowers. They're not cheap, but I mean, they last. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dal. I'm gonna drive home and eat my snacks. Okay, so I'm home again. So yeah, I'm gonna record a separate video where I'm showing you all the items in use. But I'm gonna do a separate video as well on like making DIY newborn outfits. So that's where I will probably use the lace from the curtains in the back during a cake smash. I think it's gonna be super cute. Just put like your blanket that you like on top of it. And just like leave this. In my next video, as you can see me using these items, like posing the baby in the bucket, styling a photo for like an autumn photo, maybe with a newborn or a sitter. Um, so yeah, and then maybe a cake smash session with the new garland. So watch my new videos as well, where you can see me actually using these items during photo sessions. You see behind the scenes uh, clips, you see the final images, you see camera settings, you see where I place my light, everything. So stay tuned for next videos. Also making some newborn outfits, maybe some newborn props as well with, for example, the lace, um, which are actually curtains. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Please like, sub like subscribe, and leave a comment. Love uh, reading your comments. And then hopefully I see you in the comments. You see me in my next video. Thanks for watching.